Hello, I'm KiwiTech and in this video I want to show you a new concept for wireless redstone. So until now most people used uh, iron bars or glass panes for wireless redstone but in 1.9 the model changes might cause these contraptions to break and so I came up with a different uh, concept using anvils and if you didn't know already, let me just turn this on. Uh, if you didn't know already, the anvils share a bounding box in a way, like all anvils in the world have the same bounding box. And it is updated whenever I look at one. So if I uh, walk up against this one and look at this one here, then I can just walk right through the first one because I was already inside the anvil. And I'm just detecting this here, this, these changes, uh, by throwing an item against the, uh, the anvils. And if the bo uh, bounding box is the right shape, then it uh, the item falls into this hopper and gets detected. And otherwise, it just falls straight down and lands in here. And then I've just got an item elevator to keep this thing running. OK. But unfortunately, if I have just anvils randomly in the world and look at them, then I will obviously trigger this at some point. And so it's not really that useful for uh, transmitting information or uh, making a wireless signal. And to do that, let me just turn this off, producing a lot of spam. But uh, to do the, uh, to detect such a signal or just a certain signal fairly reliably I've got a setup here with just one of the this uh, one of these devices here and I keep a record of its output with this repeater chain here and then when a certain combination has been entered then this redstone torch turns off uh, on and I get an output so if I turn this on and I just teleport a thousand blocks out. And I've got a setup here that will enter uh, these combinations. So this, so it shoots an arrow instead of looking at the anvil. And there we go, I get the output. And if I look at this one, uh, I mean, press this one, then I get the different output that was on the other side of the contraption. And I can enter this one again. It will be again the first combination, and this works fairly reliable, uh, reliably. But um, it, you can make this more re uh, reliable by just adding more, um, well, more anvils to this. And this is not the cheapest or the most uh, uh, well, most space efficient setup, but. Um, it is pretty simple to understand, so I did it this way. And the same with my other contraption. But yeah, uh, I hope this is useful to some of you, and thank you very much for watching. I see you in another video. Bye bye.